Welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of The Hangout. That's the name of the show. If it's your first time watching the show, man, and I'm going to be your host from half past three until half past four. Most of the time, and I'm going to be your host from half past three until half past four. Most of the time, and I'm And also hit us up on our social media platform. We have an amazing competition we're running, man. Kuko E, it is a festival that's happening at uh, Hawksburg. Month end yale nyanga, but get in a sneak and bugili ama ticket and also snayo e guest yet to them clanji of the first guest of the show. It's LT, it was a cousin and I bought LT go up, was some Tanzania, but you know what's it? What Tatsimali, what Quela was a pie, was a kangalum sevens, and that's what he did. But also, can book a little bit as well. On WhatsApp, you can also hit us up on 083-690-0593. DP in the 083-690-0593. 053, yeah, <laughs> sorry, 0530, that's the number you can hit us up on social media. If ever you ask me, a question at of the day, it's a man, come on, present as a the hangout, as you know, we need a ticket. And then the question of the day, come on, you don't need to be a person, 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 Hey guys, in the park, I'm going to ask you to get soup and get soup and get soup and get soup. But I'm going to ask you, before we start the interview, just watch this, man. We're going to come back after this. I am a voiceover artist. And I thought, yeah, man, in this video, let me do an ad. I hope I don't make any mistakes. ShopRite has always been here for you, and our promise to bring you low prices and what you need most will never change. Get 10 kilos Sasko cake wheat flour, 10 kilos white star super maize meal, 10 kilos Hewlett's white sugar, and 10 kilos speck of rice, all four for $3.99. Plus, make the perfect family sishebo. Win a 10,000 rand butcher voucher every week. Simply buy any three Raja or Norax products to enter. Check your till slip for details. Only at ShopRite. No prices you can trust. Always. And welcome back to it, man. I hope you guys enjoy that. Okay, guys, also want to send a shout out, man. Happy, happy birthday to Usnalo, January, Minya, Kuzalo, and I'm Klanje. Um, LT, welcome to the show, man. Good one. I'm all right, man. How are you? Ah, I can't complain, man. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? And this is my phone. Hey, man. I'm mm Angulu Tabigile. I'm all the way from Mbulu Hill. That's all more. Mm -hmm. But I have to give a shout out to East London, M Tanzania, Kwatri. To the people there, man. Yeah, that's me. I am the founder CEO of um, LPH South Africa. I'm also a voiceover artist, uh, marketing strategist, and yeah, man, a whole lot more other things. I call them the hats. the technology album, man. We're just having a technical. Okay, let me tell Never mind. I'm yeah. sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. 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 I'm sorry uh, and then, yeah, I decided to pack my bags and come to Ekaber. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel like you've been traveling, man. And also, let's start about out to Kule Mbulu Hills. Yeah. Knowing that Lika has a disadvantage for many places. Mm -hmm. And also, like Kaukula, there's no lot of motivation like Kauku City. What was that thing? Well, in the Kaukula City. Well, it was being dreaming bigger, mm -hmm. right? Um, and also, the landowner is family. Um, we always sing about man who are a, a big bunch. Let me put it like that. And going down and down. So knowing that your cousins have gone other places, and also as I said, only my mom was the one that was like, okay, man, this is shall up. Man, the emonti. Um, also, yeah, that's that's where life necessarily happened. Then it switched from being umchitagen mm. ongo waselalin to being. Which is just the cast, yeah, mm. but which is why he was in the city, he was <laughs> doing that thing. Let's talk about that transition, man, because I wanna Africa also get looked at, and I'm gonna cross that to see the city. Right, yeah, that's much it. I man, I'm Kyle, I'm Salomo, I'm one. Those like, but we criticize how much it, and also now we're calling on the people. Was it that thing, man? At least on where Ganjans are taking what in, or how it go about? There are moments where you are supposed to have an I don't care mm. uh, personality. Just as long as possible. It is. It is true, it's the essence 
It's all about the essence. Mm -hmm. So I have to carry that because mm -hmm. it's part of me. Mm -hmm. Whenever I introduce myself, it must show that I'm alone. Of course, it looks shame. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that, 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 was, that is what it was about, mm. Leong, yeah. Uh, to stay on that, man, you just mentioned something, and the Tandayo, or Situana, we are Zinia, or Kosa Marco, whereas we know that we a generation that a lack in the Imbo swap where, like, as we now, we're in the 90s, we're in the 2K, we're in the 2K, we so on that and it's checking on how we're going as Lucha and mm. also making a bone any comment it is in those of a go to TikTok I'm like I could need yeah well but yeah let's talk about that how's it for you man look one way or another we are going to evolve mm. this process is of evolve it has been evolving over the years in as much as in its evolution it does not necessarily mean you must throw away we should just add on, polish off. Of course, who's like, you know, ideals is that don't match with Isaac So it's a matter of creating that center. Even right? There is in as a man, you're supposed to carry yourself. Right? And it's also shaping the mindset and in Tandila and Lubana Ubu Dota Yaba into a tetwayo. It has to be into your action. That is the man that I am today because it wasn't just from Bandi Ted. Yeah. To, st to state on something you just said, by um you know that we in uh and there's how to put it, but we see more way as now. They call it a feminist, yeah. Yeah, basically. And one thing I noticed now, and then, mm -hmm. to do, yeah. like, what's your take on that? Like, I'm just always curious about that. Okay. Uh, uh, is the buzz and off the yeah type it's of thing? That's what you mean. Basically, it's an event. I, and you, it's you'll be losing the essence. I understand that, um, dong mama, you want to, you are proud of umdana, sure. ko, you want to show off, but let's not forget, uzenga lomdan, zikoni zindu, ez balek leyo, ekmele zenzeke, futi, on top of that, when you do le event, mm. etile, you, we are, yabo, a event, sure. it's turning into some sort of event. Because now, in a sense, I was acting really just yourself, but you also have to think of Mdana Wako. Because mm. after all of that, I'm finding my light at a little and you get me. <laughs> so, so I understand it as celeb wanting to celebrate Mdana Wako and do all of that. Sure. But the corn and Lela, you get, mm. of course, they will evolve mm. as in such, so, right? So, so Umnan, the wrong or can't sit in there. They will have the process here, your lighthouse, mm -hmm. and then like from okay, let's say from eleven o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you have the process, and then around two o'clock, and then they decide about okay, you know what, must send the e party or after what? Then they wrong or something? I'll go wrong. Man, we get now. I'll go wrong. We have a now. We have a lighthouse. It's it's going to man as a zulu. I know, but I was just chincha if mele zenzeke at least because umza galo nam. I I had my own lighthouse happen, and then the following day ki. Uh, great. Mm. I, I'd suggest don't do that. Mm. Give the day into um kitty. Yeah, experience um kitty, experience mm -hmm. lighthouse. Let that have its day. Coming on the following day, Uba gave my licorn was cool up or not. Kindness, well, about two and getting the guys, and also we have a question for the table and Kabuzo Bana. And there's also and also there's one and I'm not gonna leave you guys without getting to know who puts it better, but we're gonna have to pay our bills and then when we're coming back, there's war and we're also giving away tickets. Stay tuned, we're coming back after this. <laughs> Perfect.
right, so welcome back to it, man. This is channel 260. Welcome back to The Hangout, only on Bumagaba TV, channel 260 on DSTV. Guys, I'm here, 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 i am here i am here i am Oh, it will definitely have to be the voiceover side mm -hmm. of things. Sure. Um, in as much as being a producer as well. Sure. Um, of course, starting a business, yo, it wasn't easy. Sure. Uh, I started voiceovers uh, recording from uh, a Samsung J1. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> having and phone then, problems. Having phone problems and all of that. Today, having a studio mm, where sure. I do my own thing. Mm. Um, it's been half a decade now, mm -hmm. and still going strong. Mm. Here we are, talking first flight, we're talking ah, first mama. time on TV. <laughs> we are cooking! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, LPH South Africa is the name of the company. Mm. We specialize in providing comprehensive solutions, uh, marketing solutions for SMEs. Mm -hmm. So we're talking digital marketing, social media marketing, mm. and of course the video production as well as the voiceovers is part of it. Mm. We're always cooking. It's That's about it. That's life, man. Mm. Let's, let's talk about you being a uh, voiceover. Then. Yeah. How did you know, Rana, okay, this is a lemon leaf and Ireland, and how did you know about it? So, uh, I'm a voiceover and kiss. Okay. Well, uh, when I started out, believe I was with listening to Um Sure. Right? Like everyone. Every young child, your mom will radio there with your grandparents and stuff like that. And then you'd mimic friends mm -hmm. and then do pula pula. And, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and sure. then as I grew up, my cousin who also became uh, my mentor was a Matoman, he was the individual that kind of showed us my okay. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, he's still doing it today. But yeah, and I was like, no, I want to do it different. I want to provide that platform here in the Eastern Cape and also grow here, be the voice of the Eastern Cape. Mm, that, that is the mindset that I had. Mm. Uh, mm. And now mm. Let's talk about the highlights of your career. Like you said, it's been a half a decade now. Yeah. What's that one highlight you're like, okay, that's a man. That's it. Oh, the highlight, too. It will first be who addicts. When mm -hmm. I did the voice over at, for addicts e store, it's a company in Gauteng. They allowed me to necessarily find that identity, find that essence that is them, and gave me the freedom to be me. Sure. Um, so yes, that was the first fantastic ad, uh, 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 ad that we did. Shout out to Ogu Klentrain because he really helped out in that one. And then later on, again, me and him. Sure. We did the Isuzu ad. Mm. Our Isuzu mm. with you for the long run. <laughs> that was the most amazing ad <laughs> that we've done. Just but just now getting into that field of brand management and so forth, it was like, all right, today uh, we, uh, we're doing a brand management deal with K3S Group Enterprise. So, yeah, that, those are those notable mm. achievements as in now in as much as having a plethora mm. of ads that we've done. Let's talk about issues that we're doing very well about Nakoko, about the voice voiceover, and then when you're coming out here, and then you got this opportunity, mm -hmm. and you're dealing with big brand, knowing that it's going to be worldwide. It's mm. not just going to be in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. How was that thing, man, like the whole experience of it? My guy, I'm not going to lie. It was incredible. Um, just conceptualizing the ad itself. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that, okay, Bendy Pangela Pa. Sure, sure. Um, they're in a learnership. But because I was inside, my mindset, I'm always thinking, hey, mm, what can I, nice. what effect can I leave here? Sure. And that effect was coming up with that ad. Mm. And I told Ogutle, I was like, Ogutle, here's the ad. I want to do this. Mm. I'm inside Isuzu. I can take this directly to the offices mm. now. And that happened, man. And it was incredible, just the experience. Um, we went, they, they, okay, they would travel to Echo Mining to shoot that, we sourced it, and then, yeah, we came up with the ad, it was incredible. Mm. 
like that for you, man. And also want to ask you something, man. Um, as it went, I got to talk about you being an entrepreneur, running marketing in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. Um, we know we, we have a lot of challenges in the Eastern Cape. Yeah. And people always complain. And most of people, what they do, they mm -hmm. work and then they want to work. Let's talk about the challenges you were literally facing. Look, it's the first thing, it's a mindset. I, I, I have that. My, okay, I understand that the Eastern Cape, our economy is not the, the best. That's it's true. not the greatest. So there's that challenge. And you find that businesses as well, they don't necessarily look at marketing because there's so many other factors. You must pay rent. You mm. must do this. You must do that. Mm. And they are afraid of investing into marketing because marketing has both a short-term and a long-term benefit. So that, that th those were the challenges, just breaking into that scene. But finding now those clients again um, because we started on word of mouth we sure. do this ad and then the next person will be like hey i like this mm -hmm. but yeah we grew from that um i'm hoping to take it even further sure where because the eastern cape carries so much potential mm. it just needs implementation mm -hmm. i really stand by that singaban balab we don't have to always look at how dang to make it happen it, like let's that. make it happen here mm -hmm. but the issue is do you find that people have the sense of individualism mm. so yeah so that individualism is yes <laughs> 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 we need to work as a collective mm. we need to to come together and that is one of the visions and the missions of lph south africa mm. where we want to pioneer the marketing scene and not just work individually but have that sense of community Singabantu sure. and Ubuntu is supposed to be our identity especially as this province we're the home of legends hey, sh tell me about it mm -hmm. hey um just also ask you a question but we have a question for the day man when when the, when the song has a month. Mm. Yeah, well, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that, mm. that is that is my hearty meal. And, and I can cook. You has, can. Hashtag husband. I would literally love to spend time and talk to you, man. But yeah, yeah, man. It has a pleasure. And my chum across the night. Before you get I'm a man on social media and I'm literally interested in your job. You can find us LPH South Africa on Instagram. Sukona is LPH Media underscore SA. Mm. Sukona Facebook LPH South Africa. The corner now, Lutabila LT, watch it on Facebook <laughs> and on TikTok at LT with a double E underscore watch it. I can really come to Makwande, but also when we're getting, you know that we're going to come back, we're going to go to the ad break. Before we go to the ad break, we're running a competition. Yes, a hawksback. Quite even the guy got a hawksback, but you can check it out on our social media. Puma um, Kappa TV, and then check us there. And so, Kalela, Max, how to win tickets. Call it, give away tickets, double tickets every week until the event. And on Booze Away, to go to 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 Booze Away, to I can. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming back. <laughs> <after this. laughs> Perfect. Welcome back to Channel T60, Channel of Choice. I hope I was in Nisi apparently because there's a competition that's uh, giving a matikiti. Oh, I link with and then let's go to our second, uh, our third segment. But can I go on the no auto apungu? Go watch some Tanzania. I'm Kaya. I'm Otto Gunzan Khrushman. Hey, Poti. Yeah, Pila Gunzan. Go. Ah, yeah, Pila Khrushman. Welcome to the hangout, Khrushman. Yeah. And can you cancel the banana bubble? Let's see. Banana auto go banning go wa piena and the Gunzan no auto. Okay. Auto. Usuga in Tanzania. Auto is an author. Kulapo game Tanzania ayo wa zale lwa wakulela kona. Apo ako tukela kona otwa kuse kribini. Kula lekte kusema kumi kwebeni. Kulisa lunu chambasi, umsutu, shati, sanzani. Kutanzi, uzangomvili wini. 
I can do the better So I decided through into your back class class in the pale into your sticky notes sure. ne and the communicator now mm -hmm. so again go kunda fumani suba classic could play ground ne and the wazu pala is as sticky notes mm -hmm. and then the man is isolated again go from abanya mm -hmm. and one the man and the pala in the bongo and the man and the pala one letters to myself and also writing them to god and also writing them to my mother mm -hmm. because then this booza about this thing that I have, yeah, sure. this speech condition that I have, yeah, and then at a later stage in the months, I'm in love with writing sure. more than speaking. The essays, the the letters, and then little did I know that it is our at the age of 15, sent him a it. So again, I finished a novel at the age of 15. That's when I decided to yes. So 2018, the publishing to tame a loving heart. But it was in well polished that decided to be unpublished. Um, 2021, the publisher in what I meant to diluted, mm -hmm. which is uh, an anthology of poetry. Mm -hmm. Then 2022, the publisher like to doubtless. 2023, the publisher like to not in my wedding, mm -hmm. which is like what it is again. Wonga lendo am leyo tindi. 2024, the publisher like to my sister's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's called an engineer has published like five more, mm -hmm. so I've written nine. Um, but the same publisher left for car. Let's start the first one because the first novel was not published in man. What was pushing that behind it? Because you were at the, your early ages. Um, in the, the novel is, uh, is, is based on love. Sure. It's a love story mm. about me loving myself, about Loving my mother, about loving a band, about close to mm. yeah, even sure, about band and support and we the starterish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I felt like it needed in on the same much hot. It's a need to polish sure. because it's a it's a story. It's deep or cool, mm. yeah, it's deep or cool. Coming from that one, and then the second mm. one was it too diluted? Oh, diluted. So, yeah, yes. let's talk about that one because mm. yeah, I'm, and they even call it behind it. What diluted is basically about African history mm -hmm. and also the cultural heritage of South Africa. Sure. So it's an anthology of poetry, so a collection mm. Payana, Payana, I'm just voicing for the voiceless. Mm. Abona, given that the upper South Africa is in apartheid, there's no kwanendo ye colonialism, there's no kwanendo ye slavery. Mm. So I'm just voicing for the voiceless for Ababantu that are in the position of being disadvantaged. Mm. Yeah, so each and every poem that you read, Paya, now we have, but okay, Audra is fighting for something. Mm. That's why I consider myself as a poetician, mm. because I'm always fighting <laughs> for, for, <something>. yeah, for <laughs> someone in a good position of being disadvantaged. Mm. Yeah. I, lo I love how you're going, man. And also mm. feel like there's that time in your journey where you start to doubt yourself, like say, do I'm a Indian, do you write, or can you do Was it doubtless? Doubtless. Next, yeah. Was it going towards that you were doubting yourself in some stage in your life or it was the challenges you were facing? It was all about having no doubts because I'm doubtless. Sure. Yeah, but, um, what doubtless in I, it's based on township stories. Sure. Yeah, but because uh, growing up in the township, you get to lose friends mm -hmm. through indoor uh, drug abuse. You get to lose friends through indoor uh, alcoholism. You get to lose friends uh, through indoor uh, crime. Yeah, but and those, uh, gangsterism. Sure. So, I'm also Payana Dindi Dizama Ugumbambazela, Abanda mm -hmm. Bamyama, Uba Tutu Zelanditi. We are in this position not because of the Sitanda, mm -hmm. it's because of our past experience, which is the apartheid. But even though secular position, mm -hmm. we can still find a way to change Yabo Osobo Esilulo and also to look at things in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and if Tana Lelo Bana Nga Ti Aule Lo Iti Ndi Ita Ma Kome Shori. They don't sound like Iti Ndi Ita, man. But yeah. also, when I'm counting, man, we're talking about three. I just forgot the last one because you said he published the four. The third one is Knots In My Wedding, is sure. which is the That's one that talks about the work with a stuttering issue. Mm. Yeah, but, um, you're now, basically, I share my personal story mm. on Indo Yoko Ti Ndi Ita, on how I... I I was mocked by my peers and also other people. Sure. Yeah, well, Abazi Stranger who mocking me for Indo Yogo And then um, I, I share that story and I'm trying to show people about in life you can always move from the negative to the positive sure. and become someone better yeah. Yeah, well, than who you were yesterday. Um, and I also share eight tips on how people can manage their starter mm -hmm. and how they can stop Abani Yogo mm -hmm. Mm. To, sta to state on that, man, we mm. also know that Kukamachi mm. does struggle shy, but they never talk, uh, talk about it outside. Mm. Um, you, you said you share it tips. Do you mind like, just sharing a few tips on that one? Uh, how do you start like when you see yourself in a dark place? Because you left home mm. and why mm. Tanzania? From Tanzania was was a pie. Like, just give us a clue, man. But how how would we start to say, okay, nah, this is the first start, and then it's a Basically, to get out of the dark, uh, out of a dark spot. Mm. You have to imagine that you are in a tunnel, and in the Ugule tunnel, there's always a light at the end of it. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you're going through, you must just imagine it first in your mind mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. So the, the, the only thing that makes us must be stuck as people, we land your situation you don't want to imagine e, e, a good outcome here yeah, eventually. So, yeah. So, I think Abantu, they should always believe that there is something positive at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Preach, brother. Preach. Yeah. <laughs> brother, I literally love this man's time with you, man. It's not going to mind, but we are living in the classroom. I'm going to send you in Japan. Before you get a man, what can we wait for Klonia Kakua before this is open? Okay, first of all, I want to say. Mna Kulonyaka. Ne? Um I was also in a dark place. Mm -hmm. I was also in a dark spot, but I was assisted by an organization called oh, Business and Arts South Africa. Mm, ne, ne British Council, ne Common Purpose, ne Pan African Creative Exchange. Mm. Yeah, but they assisted me to get out of that dark place. So Gengoku, by honoring them, Namundifuna Ugunita Abanya Band who are in a dark place. Mm. Like in Jemben Teta, I'm in a program, a cultural producers program, sure. whereby we are being taught about indoor business in arts so that you don't only see yourself as an artist, but you also see yourself mm. as a business person. Sure. So now I want to take the knowledge and if many kubo dig dig we sell up on the sugar corner mm. and then get to groom and develop your mindset, mm. et cetera. And there's also another organization that's helping me at Twango Change X. Mm -hmm. So basically, bona, what they do, buy and fund uh, to run programs. Sure. Yeah, bona. So uh, through as a programs, I want to help kids uh, to learn how to read and write so that we can have a lot of black authors. Mm. Yeah, bona. So that's my plan for this year, mm. to, to, to actually develop people and then on a good spot mm. so that they can become better people themselves. Mm. Shout out to yeah. you, man. Whatever you're doing, brother. Yeah. Um, on social media, where can we get you, man, before? Uh, get Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Mm. So my handle is at Odwa Bungu. Mm -hmm. And then um, on TikTok, it's at Odwa Bungu dot SA. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I can reveal guys about wow, where to get them on social media platform, but also before the kick, I'm going to put the lamut young. Kambana Hotman, say I'm not late. Clean my line, don't carry one of Valen and I recommend the tunnel or on the chair. Knowledge. I read a lot. Then in Selikov. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. I don't know what's in separate. I'm not a cough. Yeah. I can reveal it, guys. <laughs> but when I'm going to change the channel, we're literally going to go and pay the bills, and then we're going to come back. Oh Stay tuned. We're coming back after this. <laughs>
Prophet, and welcome back to channel 260 and the channel of choice. The name of the show is The Hangout. If you just joined us, salami kamani uluwanda wakarishu kweni. But in Kubusa, Amma, and now we have, we have a guest, Mputi, oh, who's relaxed. We've got Charles in the show now. Charles, welcome to the show, man. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Nice mm. to be here with you. Uh, can I give you a moment to shine, man, just to introduce you? Sure, I'll, I'll do that. So I'm Charles. I was, I was born in the Eastern Cape. Um, my focus is on cinematography, um, but I'm also a teacher. I'm very passionate about skills development, especially in the Eastern Cape. Um, I think, you know, we've got such amazing talents. So, for example, we're going to talk about it later, but I've worked on a few um, big features starring international talents. Um, and you'd be surprised how many artisans on the film set are from the Eastern Cape, you know? So, and but that's in Cape Town, that's in Johannesburg, and I think that's a big pity um, when we have all this talent, but they have to go away to come and do it. We should bring mm. film sets here. Mm. I want to ask you something. You just mentioned that you were cinem cinema? Cinematographer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, someone who doesn't know what is that, so like, like what would you define it and tell us? So when you, when you film something, sure. right, it is, it's, to you when you look at it, it feels like it's, it's happening in front of you for the first time. Sure. But everything you see in a frame is put there with a purpose to convey some meaning. Sure. So that's broken up between the sound person, the production designer, and the cinematographer is make that makes sure that everything you see is put there with purpose and it looks beautiful and it serves the, the narrative of the story. It serves, serves the film. So my job is there. You have the director that over, oversees the entire story of the film and, sure. the, and the meaning of the film. And the cinematographer does that on a lower level just for the, video, for the visual elements of it. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you see something and you see it's lit that way or this person's, like if you look, if you watch Euphoria, that emotion you get, sure. that's because the cinematographer is producing an image that elicits that emotion. Mm. And that's my job. Mm. I, li I like how you're breaking it down, man. And also, like, one thing I just realized, I saw on your profile, man, you have a very interesting profile. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, you're busy with films. Like, you, you, you get a story from the get-go and make sure, like, also directing. There's just a lot of this. Also, just saw that... Um, there's something that's coming up apparently with the director of John Wick 4, something like that? Not, not with the director, one of the actors. Cla sure. Clancy Brown is one of the actors in a movie that I worked on called The Fix. Mm -hmm. um, and the cool thing about Clancy Brown is you might not know the name, but if you see the face, you'll see sure. the face. He's done like hundreds of video games, hundreds of movies. So in John Wick Chapter 4, he's one of the, the High Council's um, men. Sure. Um, but he's got this voice that you always know. So for me... I grew up seeing Clancy Brown. So for me, working in a movie starring him was, was a big deal to me. That's like a bucket list item. I can, you know, I can die now because Clancy Brown makes everything better. Mm. Yeah. I want to, like, uh, what I get to know, like, um, how does it feel like watching someone from the, like, getting, to, like, getting to start with someone and watch them on the TV and then it happens that you work with them, like, n next to, um, how do, how do I put this? <laughs> um, like, you actually working with that person yeah. one on one, like, knowing that I've been literally looking up to this person and then you finally got the opportunity to, to work with them. How was the feeling and the experience of, of it? Uh, uh, the thing is, it's, when you go to work, you, you go to work. Mm. So I can't even say that it was a, <laughs> anything special because you're so focused on what you're trying to do um, that this person's star power is, is, is not what you're focused on at the moment. When you go home and you, you sit down and then you absorb the moment, um, but when you're there, you don't really have time to focus on, on, on anything. Um, but no, I've had a, had a few lucky moments. I got to, got to direct a, a small segment with one of the girls who starred in Stranger Things for that same movie, um, which was also just very special. So, yeah. A journey, a journey of being a director, how is it, man? Like, uh, how, how did that one come about? So, so what happened was there's a, there's a small scene, there's a movie, there's a scene, I can't give it away because the movie's not coming, it's not it's out, out yet. yet. Yes, yeah. it's coming so. out. But there's a scene in the scene, and I pitched an idea um, for it, and then to execute it, I got the chance to go like, okay, just direct the small plot. So I'm not, I'm not a director, but it's also the nice thing about filmmaking is uh, the versatility of it. And today you're doing this, and the next day you're doing something like that, which is which is cool because you're not in the, you're not doing the same thing every day. You're not stuck in the office. There's a there's a massive adventure, you know, unfolding I, in front of you. Mm, a question that I have for you that is, I'm a kid at home watching the show, and I'm like, I'm interested. I always wanted to do a movie. I wanted to be a filmmaker. What's the one advice you literally tell the kids? Because one thing I tend to realize about this creative, they never tell you what's behind the scene. They always make it in public looks like it's, it's all cleanse and clamor yeah. without you knowing that you have sleepless nights, there's nights that you can't go to sleep. Now let's talk about that behind the scene. Well, 
first, it's a good thing that you don't know uh, what's happening behind the scenes mm. because the more you learn about movies, the more some of that magic gets taken away. So if you're getting into filmmaking, just realize that you'll be able to spot the seams, you'll be able to see how they're put together. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that magic where you just get swept up in the story gets taken away because you go into work mode and you mm -hmm. figure out how, how any of that fits in. Um, so, so that's one thing I would warn you about. And then the other thing is that filmmaking is very misunderstood because if you imagine something, you have a dream, it feels like a movie to you and you think that you can, you can do it. But it takes, so you need to go, as, then you go and try and make the movie and you realize how difficult and how hard it is. Mm. And a big thing about filmmaking is people often misunderstand it like being a musician or being an author. Filmmaking isn't about you as a person. It's not about just you. It's a team sport. Sure. There are so many people behind it. And I think the one thing I would tell you is if you're a team player, filmmaking's for you. If you want to make your story your way, do it this way, then rather become an author of a graphic novelist or a YouTuber where mm. you're in charge. But mm. filmmaking, it's all, it's all about everybody giving their talents mm. to building this big thing. Mm. Um, I'm, really, I'm very curious now how difficult it is to watch a TV with you, man. You know when you're watching a movie with uh, someone, they're like, ah, this angle was not supposed to be like this. Yeah. That was how every, difficult it is to watch every, it. Everybody hates it. And <laughs> <laughs> so it's also the better you get, the uh, harder it is to watch TV because I'm at a point where I can watch a TV and I'll see a lens flare, you know, mm. that flash of colored light coming mm. across the screen and I'll know what lens they shot it on, mm. you know. And then I, I'll get very excited because, yeah, it's, it's definitely this. And sure. then you'll go and do some reading, you'll find out. And no one cares. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. I get what you're saying. <laughs> what's the, what's what that one time you're like, hey, this, like this team, they always do the great job all the time. And literally you love to work with them or working with them was the best thing. Every, every experience is, is different. And every last one is the best one I worked on, mm -hmm. if I can say anything. So I work now. I try and be home as much as possible because I'm getting a bit older. So I work on a lot of post-production. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I think every day you get to work in film is a privilege. So I feel like that every time. Mm. And it's also, you know, working with people, that's how you get the next job. I don't advertise. I don't have a, a fixed job. I, everything I do is word of mouth. Mm. So Hi, as Linda, depending how well you I'm get along with people you. dictates how well you're going to do in the future as well. Mm. Shout out to you, man. Um, also, man, before I let you go, man, where can people okay. get you on social media? Um, two places, Instagram, so it's just my name, Troll State, on Instagram, and then I have a YouTube channel with interviews on it with some very prominent Hollywood talent, mm -hmm. um, and that's called Wild Shadows on, Wild Shadows ZA on YouTube, mm -hmm. so you can check that out. Mm, shout out to you, man. I wish you nothing but all the best in your future, man. And also, Renan if you're watching this, man, don't change the channel because we're going to have a Zoom interview now now on channel 360 about the Hogsback event but we're just gonna go to the end break when we're coming back we're gonna hit straight to it man stay tuned we're coming back after this <laughs> Welcome back to Channel 260, Channel of Choice. Man, you know what's happening, a coffee, I mean, a hog's back on the 26th, is it 26th until the last weekend, it's the last weekend of July, but we have and music in the snow uh, or under St. Cape Jazz Festival. So I'm the head of the St. Cape Jazz Festival, the COE St. Cape Jazz Festival. Mm. And so I'm the uh, originally, I'm from Willowvale, uh, but the Shalape Monte, but the Kaya Kukatani, Yama Ezans, and Mama, and the Willali Pusemwan. Kulo, um, let's talk about the 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 the, 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 the music on the snow, man. Yeah, challenge on the concept, Leana, and Eminya Kaya as Iamba Iamba John. Um, the concept uh, actually started in 2022. Uh, Apple, uh, Sa Sabanayo, e 
in music in the snow york pala uh, where it was very popular wango kubisa pala about landi libapu mango kuninzibabu so how it started um bebu konyaka apo everyone was going to oxbeck by it on the snow mm. then um, the idea came about goku the the bukela the excitement about doing that was what's this excitement about and people said ah, it's the snow then i thought to myself ah, there needs to be something which is more than lenda bando bayela they need to enjoy themselves and it needs to gain some attraction uh, national footprint up of people who travel from uh, various uh, towns countries as well to enjoy um, long print by music in the snow so it started about um, 2022 uh, so it's our third annual uh, we are glad to say um, is is it was it pretty lay a busy sell out um, even at this one i think we are on 90% by peleke eh amatikit ai let's look let's talk about that for bani i'm like we having music in the snow and you decided what we could feel in hawksburg because a lot of tourists were going to hawksburg for snow and then when you saw an opportunity you were like you know what let me just do this festival balance and cheese check by zobanja let's talk about the first one compare to what it is now because you're already saying that man 90% your ticket to Akko already sold out the first one how was it what motivated you to carry on with the event um okay the first one um the the first one it was just uh usukoli one which is saturday sure. um so um this year since uh, ukuzi 3 which is friday saturday and saturday even the second one um sure. this is she listens a uh, friday saturday and sunday so um as compared to the first one or oh, uzotongo i think the revelers they have increased in terms of in numbers abound i think the first one went about 1000 people um so this year it has increased rapidly meaning uh, friday une nani lakhe saturday une nani lakhe or sunday une nani lakhe so possibly the show is 90% so that meaning zonke zinso as in three uh ngumuntu is excited ba ufuna ufika pha kwa friday bambi ke bathi bazawulala na sunday so that ba go to the monday so i think um koza ba ko in like in seventh in minutes apa bantu bazofaka khona isiku lomthu means i can even talk because about going on monday ke bo you are in seventh in Let's, let, like seeing your line up for one line up in Nigeria in Kenya what's that one thing you guys are waiting for and come about okay bana kungene ubani everyone is going to be happy what's that thing okay you can't surprise the nasu for team um okay firstly e equal i think we don't have we are deserve papa um we actually um worried about kuza kwala ban banozova ni show as our concerns most is about kona concerns the show ba we would want your show to grow gradually and as in it to be figured a billion if you can be best be say excited so um like the likes of jazil equally be no value show zuko say is doing so well um vusinova langa mavuso it's it's just an interesting lineup uh, to be quite honest uh akho who would say um we had deserved to close because of ngumdopa i mean holy ray uh, not sure if you familiar with nicole wake she is quite a good artist now she's on a full band uh, we've got nets and many other people aba abacula you can cool and the dj as well so uh, it's very interesting to be quite honest for friday he said he said their friday he show we pelen so friday saturday we've got um, guys from Metro FM, uh, Ismail Ibrahim, um, Mon Mukwena, Ponti Khaka. So, bona bazo kwenza the Sunday uh, show which is Pakwela Ka. So you would see ba no bumde be no to your Sunday we show uh, you would still get something out of the Sunday. So it's it's Friday full lineup, Saturday full lineup, Sunday full lineup. also wanna ask if ever i decided to travel with the family like is it kids friendly for abantwana but right and also wanna know about the safety here to sing abantwana but how's the safety going when it comes to the event um 
unfortunately abandona sikabina yo nda uyabo um uh, we do not have the activities abandono kwangu uh, as back in pharmacy police are, uh, will be able to incorporate kids so isaid abandono batal is important kuti uh, we are working with saps as well uh, to ensure that wonkumtu oyepa uh, uh, safe. I'm not sure if you've been to Oxbeck, but it's a mountain. Uh, up to protect our command, there is tranquility. So um, it's rare that we have been to Balai, but we have been to Basla Bene. We can see that town. We got to say, we say England. We still is still up to. It's not not busy. So we enjoy busy. We are going to about the bus travel. We are going to go to so in terms of safety abound, we 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 hundred and ten percent certain that a comed who would whose life would be endangered in family a year back. So SAPS visibility are increasing and also the private security companies is on side. So it's quite a friendly and, and safe environment, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I can go to cool for Trump's Yabulela. Um, I once went to a Hawksburg. It was Amatola Trail, um, Pickle, Pickle Rock. Yeah, I once experienced that. And also, I want to say thank you very much for your question, Lago. So, I want to see the next week. Is it next week, Mr. Hawksburg? I will see you there in two weeks' time. I was sorry, I will see you in two yeah. weeks' time. And Sabulela or Kulung in Castle here, too. Um, also, the Bukele, the Kony Competition, we're giving away e tickets for the Hawksburg show. So most people say one bang bang. It 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 present as called the hangout when you ask us to bang bang. Then we'll give you a ticket. I come cool one. See you later. So bonum in two weeks time. But again, so much. It is what it is, man. We really appreciate for you to tuning in on channel two six zero. Let me come and we'll wonder what can you do. And it was guys smoking the nani apa. And we also saw that about the comment about commenting. And there's also Uzi pun Uzi Uzi pun Musa. She was the first person to comment, but it was on Kaze Laban and Bani, a winner on Friday. But I said, who bought a ticket? But okay, don't do the wrong thing. Gom, so same time, same place on channel 260. Omna, I'm out like that. Thank you.